Next, we go to fundamental problem 99. Okay. And this is the beam, the cross section of the beam, right? Beam means that this is the cross section and then it has a length over there, going up. Over there, okay? Or over there, going whatever. So the dimensions are given 400 millimeter. This is 50, this is 200, okay? 200, 200, 50 and 50, and this is 50 and 50. And I guess you know what is there is. If this 50, 50, 100, so 400 minus 100 will be 300 meter. Okay, this is 300. Okay. So actually, the in the question, uh, it is shown where is the, I mean, to do this line and uh, put the X, uh, sorry, the Y bar. Okay, but we were going to do that. I mean, now I'm going to show you how actually we want to find the centroid from kind of scratch here. You don't have the XY coordinate system here. Okay. So what happened is, uh, in reality, actually you don't have this X Y coordinate system. You have to define yourself. Okay. So you can use uh, if you realize in the uh, in the question in, in the original question in the textbook, is given that the X is here, right? The X axis is here. You can do X axis anywhere, even here. But but don't 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 make yourself difficult. In a difficult position, probably you can, you can even put it here at the top. So everything the the y will be minus, right? If you take x at the top, the x exists. The y will be zero here, and then it will be go minus. You can do that as well, no problem. I mean, it depends on you. But because we don't want to uh, put ourselves in trouble, I mean, because if you have the minus sign and all this stuff, probably will make us confused. So. Most of the time, we try to uh, to have this positive coordinate, okay? Positive coordinate. So that's why probably the best way is to put the y, the x axis at the very bottom, right? So that any y coordinates will be positive, right? Because negative will be there, and there is no body below, right? Okay. Uh, <coughs> And then, if we find the centroid y, hmm, later on, when we find the centroid y, y, sorry, not y, y bar, so this, the centroid will be in the middle, but on this axis, okay, parallel to, to x. So, how to do this? Because this is composite, I hope you realize that this is composite. You have one body, two, and three bodies. Okay. And um, y x. Okay. Uh, before that, before you go to y bar, do you guys know where is the x bar? I mean, when we say central, it should have x and y because this is a an area, right? Area means that at x and y. So. You guys know where is the x bar? The x bar will be in the in the middle here. You know why? Because you have a symmetrical shape. Like I said this is 400. Half of that will be 200 somewhere in the middle, right? And then this is 50, this is 50. I mean everything is symmetrical. So if you put 200, 200 millimeter, 200 millimeter, you put an axis like this. So this is a symmetrical axis. This is a symmetrical axis. Okay? And then so this y bar will be somewhere along this axis. Okay, so you need to be fine. And this x will be in the middle. So that's why we don't we don't put any x uh, values here, right? Uh, what else? Okay, so we will find the 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 y bar for this composite body. And I think in the slides, let me check the slides. There is a okay. There are two two ways to find this. It's either you you uh you define this as one, two, and three or whatever I mean individually, the composite areas individually, or you define everything. Everything is that four hundred by how much is this? Two hundred fifty, right? Four hundred by two hundred fifty box rectangle. Everything and then you subtract this area. 
right? Because this is minus added this kind of hole. So you subtract 300 by 200. Hmm? So you can do any of this. And I think I'll, I'll show the second approach, okay? So what we're going to do is, we'll define everything, everything as number one, and inside this as number, number two. Can you follow that? This number two, and everything else number one, okay? So we have two segments. Segment A, Probably we, we probably it's better to do B, right? A and B. Okay, A and B. So segment A, we have segment A and we have segment B. A is for everything. Okay, all. B is this whole. Okay. So summation of A. Okay. We keep it in millimeter, everything in millimeter. Okay, everything in millimeter. So for A, sorry, not such of A. The A for this uh, all is 400 times 400, 400 times 200 plus 50. So 250. Okay, follow that. 400 times 250. So you got 100,000. Okay. And then B for B, the area is how much? 400 is the whole width. You subtract 50 and 50. 50 plus 50 is 100. So 400 minus 100 is 300. Right. 300 is times 200. Okay. Again, this is the area in blue. Okay, the whole. So now you got 300 times 200. It is 60,000. 60,000. But be careful. This area is my minus. Why minus area? Because I, this is the real area, okay? 100,000. But this one is actually want to subtract, so this is minus area. It's okay. And then, you have to find your y till there. The centroid of segment A and segment B. So where is it? Hmm? Okay, it's very simple. For A is everything, isn't it? The length, the total, the total height is everything. 200 plus 250. So it will be half of that. 200, 250, 250, half of that is 120, 125. Understand that? Okay. This is 250. Okay, everything is 250. So you just have to take half of that. 125, 125, right? 125. So the y till uh, there is 125 from x axis. Okay? And for b, again simple, this is 200, so it should be half of that, which is 100. And it's positive, right? Because we define x axis here. If we define x axis up there, then it will be negative. But don't, don't complete it yourself. Try to, put, try to have as much positive as, as you can. Right? Okay, and then for this A, you do the submission of A, okay? So 100,000 plus 100,000 plus 60,000. So minus 60,000. So minus 60,000, you got 40. It's okay. And then um, you need to have your Y tilde A. Okay. So y till the a, 125, the first one, times 100,000. So you got 1, 2, 5, oh, 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 oh. 12 million, 500,000, okay? And then for this one, 60,000 times 100. So you got minus, okay, because minus here, right? So minus 6. Million. Million. Okay. So your summation of y till the a is this plus this, which means this minus. Okay. One, two, five, zero, zero, ten power of three, 
minus 6 power of 6. So you got 6 million 500,000. It's okay. And then, why we want to find this? Summation of y tilde a and summation of a. Because in the equation for the centroid, y bar, the y coordinate of the centroid is given as summation of y tilde a over summation of, of a. That's why we do all this table. So summation of this is 6550, 6,500,000 and summation of a is 40. You can hit the calculator or you can simplify yourself, it doesn't matter. So you got 162.5 millimeter. Okay, 162.5 millimeter. So, where is the location? The location, so this y bar is 162.5 millimeter from, from this x axis, right? Because it's positive. Right, so it will be in the middle here. This is the centroid, right? And the y bar, the, the y coordinate is if you consider this is y equal to zero, then it will become 162.5, right? Again, you can do this, uh, you can do individually. This is one, one segment and the segment and the third segment okay you can do that and sum them up you don't have this negative area if you want but if you want to do this negative area then you'll get exactly the same answer no problem okay